Dermal protective ensembles are used in combination with respirators to protect first responders from vapor and liquid chemical agents. The combination of dermal and respiratory protection defines the four different protection levels, A, B, C, and D. The clothing is a one-piece coverall with or without attached boots. It may have a hood attached at the neckline as well. So medical PPE includes heavier rubber gloves that come in two thicknesses, 7 and 14 mil. Both protect from liquid chemical agents, but the 7 mil protect for 6 hours, while the 14 mil will protect for up to 24 hours after exposure. These gloves should be issued to workers along with the standard 25 mil gloves. The 7 mil gloves should be used by personnel requiring extreme tactile ability, such as triage officers, paramedics, or computer operators. The 14 mil gloves should be used by workers who perform duties that require tactile ability, but who will subject the gloves to harsher treatment. Levels A and B PPE are unnecessary for healthcare workers unless they are working in an environment where the hazardous substance or its concentration is unknown. Level C PPE is the approved level for healthcare workers responding to chemical agent incidents. Level D affords minimal protection. It's a work uniform used for nuisance contamination only. The Level C PPE approved for use in CSEP includes a splash suit, butyl rubber gloves with cotton inserts, and vinyl overshoes or hazmat boots all worn over your normal scrubs or lightweight underclothes. Workers outfitted in PPE should remember that the suit material restricts the body's heat loss mechanisms. The amount of heat accumulation and body fluid loss depends on several factors. The amount of physical activity the wearer engages in, the level of hydration, clothing worn under the suit, the load carried, the state of heat acclimatization, the terrain, altitude, and general climatic conditions, and the level of physical fitness and fatigue of the user. So it's very important that workers wearing hazardous materials PPE take appropriate precautions to rest and rehydrate at frequent intervals at